Hello and welcome to another video of the Long Termer. In this video, I will be talking to you about the all new Kia Sonnet which is about to launch on September 18th. This August, Kia had successfully completed its one year on the Indian soil and what could have been a better way to celebrate this than to launch an all new car. Well, here it is, the all new Kia Sonnet. In this video, I will be doing a comparison of both Hyundai Venue and Kia Sonnet and I will be telling you as to how distinct Sonnet is from the Hyundai Venue. Sonnet will be offered with 10 color options of which 3 are dual tone, whereas in the Hyundai Venue, there are 8 color options of which 2 are dual tone. On the front, Venue gets the signature cascading style grille with chrome touches. The projector headlamps are placed on the lower half of the bumper and is surrounded with a squarish shaped LED DRLs. Even the tail lamps are LED based, however, it misses out on LED turn indicators up front. The dimensions of the venue may not excite you too much, but the skid plates, roof rails and the side body claddings makes it feel more SUV-ish. The front end of the Sonnet looks very sporty and aggressive thanks to the tiger nose grille which we have even seen in the Kia Seltos. The DRLs and the crown jewel headlamps are also similar to those of the Seltos. As we have seen in the Kia Seltos, even the Sonnet will be coming in two versions. One is the GT line and the other is the tech line. And the clippings which you are seeing here are those from the GT line which will be available in a single variant. The GTX Plus variant which is the top end variant and will get all the bells and whistles. The heartbeat tail lamps are connected through a reflector on the center and it really looks very intuitive. The dual muffler design on the rear bumper along with these red inserts makes the rear profile even more desirable. Both the Venue and Sonnet gets projector fog lamps up front. The alloy wheels of both these cars look similar and these red brake calipers are only available in the GT line variant or in the sports trim of the Hyundai Venue. Apart from this, these are the rest of the wheel options available on the Sonnet. Venue's turn indicators look similar to those of Duster but I really like as to how the Sonnet looks like. Back in 2019, Hyundai Venue was the first made in India car to have the connected car tech, which Hyundai called it as the Blue Link. Some of the features were geofencing, climate control and remote start-stop. Venue comes with 350 litres of boot space, but now the Sonnet gets the best in the segment 392 litres of boot space. Wireless charging is available on both these cars, but on the Sonnet, there is even a cooling function. Venue and Sonnet gets the smart key along with the engine start-stop button but on the Sonnet, you can even turn on the ignition of the car in the manual variants through the smart key. Venue's cabin looks very premium and is also nicely placed. Whereas on the Sonnet, the interior feels very busy but is on the sportier side. These are the interior color combinations and the seating pattern which will be available on the Sonnet. Venue's 8-inch touch infotainment system has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and Blue Link with 33 connected features. The Sonnet on the other hand gets a larger 10.25 inches touch infotainment system which is also available on the Kia Seltos. Now if you're comparing this with the Venues, this one looks more sleeker and has the better interface. Even the Sonnet is a connected car and is equipped with a UVO connected car kit and gets 57 features. The party trick of the Sonnet are these premium Bose speakers which are far more superior to the Archimis in the venue and it is even coupled with these mood lights. Sonnet is also equipped with an advanced smart air purifier which even shows the air quality index inside the car. This time around, Kia claims that it has an inbuilt mechanism of virus protection. It even has a perfume with three fragrance options. Even the venue gets an air purifier but it looks very basic. Now, in terms of overall creature comforts, Kia Sonnet is just a step ahead over the Hyundai Venue. 
the attention to detail on the Kia Sonnet is worth mentioning. There are lots of segment first features and certain features are even not available on bigger and expensive cars. The quality of plastics used and the fit and finish inside the cabin is top notch. The leather wrapped D cut steering wheel gets tilt adjust and has audio controls and cruise control. Apart from the black interiors, this is how the dual tone color combination will look like. Another great feature which the venue misses out are these ventilated front seats. The red stitching on the door panels and the upholstery looks very sporty. The automatic IRVM gets the UVO controls, there are front and rear USB charging sockets. The chunky looking AC vents looks very sporty and are placed below the infotainment system. Both Venue and Sonnet gets rear AC vents and a similar sized electric sunroof. For comfort and convenience, both the cars have lots of utility spaces like cubby holes, bottle holders and both the cars gets front and rear armrest. Both the Sonnet and Venue have same 3 engine options, 1 litre petrol, 1.2 litre turbo GDI petrol and 1.5 litre diesel engine option. Sonnet has 5 transmission options whereas the Venue only has 4 transmission options. The transmission options are 5 speed manual, 6 speed manual, 6 speed IMT and the 7 speed DCT. Venue misses out on the 6 speed torque converter on the diesel engine. The analog instrumental cluster of the Venue looks very basic when you compare it to that of the Sonnet. On the Sonnet, you get 3 driving modes, Eco, Normal and Sport. There are also 3 traction modes, Sand, Snow and Mud. Now with respect to the dimensions of the Sonnet, in comparison to the Venue, it is 20mm wider, slightly higher at 5mm and rest of the dimensions are similar to the Venue. Even the safety features of both these cars are more or less the same, be it the ABS, ESC, brake assist, isofix child seat mount or even the number of airbags are same in both these cars. The body structure of both these cars are made up of high strength steel and for extra safety there are even front parking sensors in the Sonnet. Few days back, a new sports trim has been added to the venue and it gets certain cosmetic changes and is based on the SX, SXO and SX Plus variant. We have all experience as to how venue feels on the road, how nimble it is to maneuver around in city traffic. It does not feel underpart and is even sure footed. Now since both these cars have same underpinnings, Therefore, we can even expect the Sonnet to drive more or less like the Venue. Both Venue and Sonnet have different transmission options as well as different variants available to cater to the needs of different buyers. But the Sonnet looks more spectacular and has some useful features over the Venue. Which one do you like? Kindly like, share and comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more such reviews. Thanks for watching.